like Lori said, we will be focusing on Google Duo, Meet, and Hangouts today. So here's a little bit of what we'll be doing. We'll be doing a little bit of an intro to the video calling apps, um, Google Duo, Google Meet, and Google Hangouts, and then we'll be talking a little bit about uh, similar apps. So Google Duo, Meet, and Hangouts are all provided by Google, and they're used to video call, chat, and more. They are like Google's version of Zoom, and you can video call and chat in multiple different ways. There are also many different features to help you connect with others. To use any of these apps, you do have to have a Google account, but they are free to create and are super easy to create, and you don't need a Gmail address to make one. If you have a Google account, you can also access other Google apps, including Google Docs, Google Slides, Calendar, Photos, Drive, and many more. So we'll be focusing on Google Duo now. Google Duo is a very high quality video calling app. It's compatible with Android, iOS, and other smart display devices like Google Nest Hub, Max, and more. And a really big plus is that it's free so anyone can use it. Some of the features are one-on-one -on -one video call or voice call. You can do up to 32 participants on one call. There's a time limit of 25 hours, which I think is an adequate amount of time. You can take photos of your video call for special moments that you want to remember. Uh, it also has great security, so calls and messages are all private and can only by, be seen by you and the person that you are talking with. And there's also family mode, which lets you doodle and use fun effects like down in the corner here. And there's AR, which is augmented reality effects, um, which are kind of like family mode. And again, it is free for everyone. The search bar is up here at the top, which is where you can search a contact or dial a phone number. The menu over here, there will be next to the search bar, there will be three dots and you will see these options, which are um, more into the privacy settings um, for specific stuff. Your call log will be here, so it will show the past calls that you have made and to create a new call, you click this bottom button in the corner and you will ask to be to enter either a phone number or an email. So, so here are the features. The one on the right is on a mobile device such as a phone and down on the left here is a computer. So there's an end call button which is bright red in the middle of each one when you would like to leave. There's also a microphone button which is to mute and unmute yourself and a camera button to turn on and off your camera. There's also these dot dot dots, which unlock some of the features like family mode, virtual backgrounds, and augmented reality. And this, I don't know if you can see this, but it's a little dot with uh, two arrows going around it. I believe it's to switch the camera around in case you want to show someone else something. Now for Google Meet. Google Meet is the most popular video calling platform for Google. It is also available for Android and iOS devices, and it does also offer a free version as well as two paid versions. So some of the features of Google Meet are one-on-one -on -one and group video calls with up to 250 people, a chat window, real-time closed captions during calls, raising hand feature which is super helpful when there's something like a webinar or where there's a question period controls on who joins the meeting so if uh, someone needs to be admitted or removed that can be controlled uh, you can easily join and create meetings uh, you can schedule meetings in google calendar and there is built-in protection to keep meetings 100 percent safe there's also virtual backgrounds, which are super fun to use, and it is better suited to webinars rather than Google Duo, which is more for family and friends FaceTiming. Google Meet pricing is basically, it's there's not a huge difference between the features of the free version and the paid versions, um, but 
the free version is obviously going to always be free. Um, there's a 24 hour meeting length, 24 hour max meeting length. Um, there's 100 maximum participants and unlimited number of meetings. Whereas the Google Workspace individual has an increased amount of group meeting length for participants, but for everything else it is the same. And for Google Workspace Enterprise, it increases the amount of meeting participants maximum, which ups to 250. So in these lines above in the top left corner, you can access settings, help, and send feedback to Google. So if there's a certain feature that you think they need improving on, you can send feedback and it might improve in the future. Down here where it says new meeting in blue, you can create a meeting using this button and you will get a link to share it with your friends or family or whoever. Up here, there will be a picture of which is the logo you choose to use for your profile and you'll be able to change different accounts and manage your account again these do have to be google accounts and then here outlined in orange says join with the code if you've been invited to a meeting you will input the code here to join and will then be in the meeting in the top right corner, this is from a mobile device, and down in the bottom left corner is from a computer. Again, it's very similar to Google Duo in the features. There is an end call button, a camera and microphone button, and in the bottom left where it says computer, there will be dot dot dot, which will lead you to more features such as virtual backgrounds, how many participants you can see at once, and much more. Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is uh, also a video call and chat platform. It is mostly used for social networking but can be used for other things and it is free for everyone and available for Android and iOS devices. But it is also important to keep in mind that it will soon be discontinued and replaced by Google Chat which is accessed through the Gmail app. Some of the features of Google Hangouts include uh, group chats of up to 150 participants. You can send messages, photos, emojis, stickers, and animated GIFs. Video calls can have up to 10 friends. Message users, you can message them even if they are offline. If they don't have internet or Wi-Fi, they will still get the message. Um, you can manage mobile apps remotely with Google Cloud. And it is, again, free for everyone. Up in the top, you will see three lines, and here is where you can manage your account, your profile, you can check your invitations and access the app settings. I will go over invitations in a little bit. Down at the bottom, where it's outlined in blue, you can see your contacts, your favorite contacts, so these can be people that you chat with more often than others, and your chat history. And here, with the orange line pointing to this big plus, you can start a new conversation. To start a new chat, you go over and you click the green plus button, and next to it says new conversation. Then you type in the name, the email, or the phone number of the person that you want to start a conversation with. If the person has not used Hangouts before, you will need to invite them to Hangouts which will send you an invitation through the app, which you can accept. And once they accept your invite, you can start chatting. You can also make them into groups and add multiple people at once. Some similar apps to these Google Duo, Google Hangouts, and Google Meet are Zoom, Apple's FaceTime, Microsoft Teams, Slack, and Discord. I also believe that there were some webinars earlier in the week that covered a couple of these. I will now do a live demonstration on these three apps. I'm going to start with Google Duo. You will see this screen and I'm using a computer so it will uh, look different on a mobile device. Here you can press start a call and once you do it it will prompt you to enter a phone number or email and then you click this blue button to start it. 
Here you can create a group link and this is where you can create for more people other than one and you can send this link to whoever you would like. And then um, here in the corner it'll show your profile. You can search your contacts or dial a number and then there's help desk and settings here. For Google Meet it'll look a little similar and you can enter a code here. So codes can be a random generation of numbers, letters, and symbols, or it can be a curated code, example, I love puppies, uh, which could be a word. If you want to create a new meeting, you click new meeting, and this first one shows you how to create one for later. So if you're scheduling one for another time that day or in the week that is not currently in session, or you can start an instant meeting, which will uh, open it up that second. Or you can schedule one using the Google Calendar feature um, that will sync all of your Google Apps together. For Google Hangouts, you will see a screen looking somewhat like this. You Again, you press the new conversation and you can enter which, whichever contacts that you have. If you go over to contacts, it'll show you all of the ones you have. And here, it'll show your past conversations, your invites, different app downloads, settings, and more. Again, going over the invites, if you do have one, it'll show up here saying, hi, this person is asking to chat with you. Yes or no, would you like to accept the invite? And it's as simple as that. If I start a new one here, It'll look like this. I'm just going to. So here, it'll show you how to leave. And under more options, you can see you can open a whiteboard to share with others. You can change how many people are on your screen. So if you have a large amount of people in your call, let's say it's like a webinar, just like this, you might not want to see every single person who is in the call. So in this case, you can change it to maybe only five people on the screen at once or 10, depending on how you like it. Uh, visual effects include virtual backgrounds. Um, they have some moving ones and some still ones. And they're really fun to use, especially when you're calling with family. Captions are just a live uh, recording of the captions. People speaking in case you miss something. And then there's more troubleshooting and all of that. If you would like to invite anyone to the meeting in the bottom corner, the bottom left corner, here it always shows the meeting code so uh, if someone accidentally joins late they will always be able to join and here if you click on this little in the bottom right corner this little chat function it will you can send whatever messages here it will show you all the participants and who's muted and not and then down here it shows you how you can split into breakout rooms, do polls, and record, although these ones are for premium. The only one that is available for the free access is whiteboards. Thank you for listening, everyone.